Well, good morning. And I say that because I'm shooting this in the morning and I will be putting this up in the morning for next Saturday, a week from today. During the Sephora sale, I went ahead and indulged in a plethora of sheet masks, expensive ones. I got a couple of regularly priced ones. But the idea was maybe I could help you decide if it's worth spending so much money on some of these masks. And the first mask we're going to look at is the Tatcha Lifting Hydrating Mask. Let me put my glasses on. Luminous Deep Hydration Lifting Mask. Looks like this, it's $95. And as always, Tatcha has such beautiful packaging. It has this little pull-out tray, which who doesn't love that? Here are the instructions. It's not as complicated as this. It's just a sheet mask that you put on your face. And there's four. I already used one. So while I have my glasses on, let's read about the claims, you guys. It rained today, so the sun is in and out, and my camera is pretty sensitive to that because I have it on a semi-automatic setting because I just still haven't figured out how to set my camera manually. What it is, a unique, coconut-derived sheet mask that boosts the moisture content of skin by up to 200% in 15 minutes for a luminous, plump-looking complexion. My goodness, I like that idea. Solutions for dryness, dullness, and uneven texture, loss of firmness, and elasticity. If you want to know more, this biocellulose treatment mask contains anti-aging serum of a proprietary complex of Okinawa red algae and natural hyaluronic acid that delivers an instantly hydrated, firmed, and lifted appearance. Each mask is distilled from an entire coconut, oh, hmm, uh, into an ultra-concentrated mask forming an occlusive layer on the skin and allowing for 53% more effective penetration of serum than paper masks. The pure and powerful active ingredients are able to quickly saturate the skin, infusing revitalizing moisture and plumping away the appearance of fine lines. Tatcha's signature hmm, Hadase 3, a trio of anti-aging Japanese superfoods, born from nourishing green tea, rice, and algae, restores a healthy-looking youthful radiance. Okay, um, green tea is an antioxidant, so good for your skin. Rice is actually really good for your skin, too. Rice waters um, can have a slightly brightening effect and a slightly exfoliating effect, and algae is also known to be pretty good for the skin. So that's what Tatcha says. Now, we're gonna go to Inky Decoder, and take a look at the ingredients. Let's just pull up my computer a little bit closer. Ingredients, water. Second is glycerin. Glycerin is a hydrator. It is naturally found in the skin, so it is a skin identical. Uh, propendiol is a natural corn sugar derived glycol. So um, glycolic acid is derived from sugar products so there might be a slightly exfoliating effect to here, to here, to this. Alcohol. Mm. Now, alcohol can sometimes be used in products to help the penetration. So we're going to forgive it, but it's pretty high up. And if you have a sensitivity to alcohol, you might find this to be uncomfortable. Then we have PPG6, blah, 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 which is an emulsifier and surfactant. Then we have ethyl hexyl glycerin. It can boost the effectiveness of polyphenols and other preservatives. And it's an added bonus. It feels nice on the skin. <laughs> and then a couple of other things. We'll skip over those. Red algae extract, which is called Chondrus crispus. The extract of red seaweed has a nice film-forming, skin-smoothing, and moisturizing properties. Natural fragrance. Silk extract. I'm not sure what that's all about. It's for viscosity, emulsifying, super commonly used thickener and emulsion stabilizer. Uh, Camellia sinensis green tea leaf extract. 
Green tea, one of the most researched natural ingredients that contain the superstar actives called catechins. It has proven antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and antimicrobial, and anti-carcinogenic properties. Pretty nice. Sodium hyaluronate, we know what that is, right? Panax ginseng root extract, ginseng, traditional Korean medicine that has antioxidant properties and is known to improve blood circulation. Algae extract, an extract comes from one or more of the two 20,000 kinds of algae. Okay. Uh, royal jelly extract, thymus serpilium extract, and this is from Inky Decider Decoder, Inky Decoder. They're it could be slightly different than what is listed on the box, but we get the idea. So from all that, it's important to note that they're saying the mask itself is very unique and it is occlusive, so all the ingredients can actually get into the skin rather than evaporate. Most of the masks that I have, if you leave them on too long, they actually will cause transheptermal evaporation because that paper, after all the goodies dry away, will actually start to pull the water from your skin. And this does not. And a little drippy. Okay, so we'll just use my chest as a paper towel <laughs> and start to unfold it. There's mesh on either side. And while there's a tab here, there's nothing that says which side the tab should be on. Here it is here. You take off one side of the mesh. And then you place it on your face. So, let's see what's going on here. A lot of masks don't hit me right here. I don't know why, so I tend to pinch right here and then pull out. Make sure it's kind of even around the eyes so it's not in your eyes. Okay, before I finish, I'm going to take off the other side of the mesh. The other side of the mesh. And I definitely want to make sure it's on my 11s. Okay, now I have tried this before and I have to say, you guys, I found it to be really comfortable. It fits my face very well, and of course everybody has different sized faces, but there's nothing so frustrating you put on a mask and you're like, it's so small that the eyes are over here and the nose doesn't cover fully or the mouth is in the wrong place, where this one fits my face very nicely. And I just want to rub this in a little bit. Also, it's worth noting that I'm a teeny bit claustrophobic with masks. Usually, when I put on a mask, I get in the tub. And, you know, I'll promise my feet, I'll shave my legs, I'll spend some time doing duties in the bathtub. <laughs> Sometimes I'll lay back and relax a little bit, but I, I don't do that too often because I hate my tub. So I don't love, love the rub-a-dub-dub in the tub, but I do tub more often than I shower because I just like it better. <sighs> Which doesn't matter at all. What I'm trying to say is I usually feel a little claustrophobic, a little uncomfortable in masks, and I don't really, I don't put them on and then go online and, and read the news or sit back and watch TV or wash a couple of dishes and you know what I mean? I just put it on in the tub so it can be over as soon as possible. But with this, I put it on the other night and I, I really didn't get that feeling of claustrophobia. And I also found that, well, <laughs> okay, let me admit something to you. Because the mask itself is said to be occlusive, I thought, well, I wonder if I could reuse this and use it with something else. There is stuff left in here. 
and you could put something else in this foil package. And then when you're done with this, I mean, you're using it on clean skin after all, you can fold it up and put it back in here and kind of squeeze it around like this and use it another time. And I highly suggest you do because it's insanely expensive. But that occlusive nature can really help get certain things that you want in your skin, in your skin. If you are feeling super dehydrated, you use what's in here and then add some more hyaluronic acid. Um, a serum of some kind, you could maybe do a C, I don't know if I would do a C serum with this. Um, maybe you would want to do a, a peptide serum or a copper peptide serum. I don't know if I would do that either because that could be a little more active than a regular peptide serum. But you get the gist, right? You could put something else in this and mix it around and use it again and spoiler alert, <laughs> I have. So sun coming and going. I am coming and going as well. I'll be back in 20 minutes, which is how long you were supposed to use this, and we will see what my skin looks like. It's kind of not sticking around my mouth, but the truth is, when you put something like this on, you're not going to be shooting a video and talking nonstop, so I don't think that's a problem, and I don't remember it being a problem the two times that I used this before. So, back in 20. Oh, and one more thing. You can wear your glasses on this without it getting all slimy and weird. It doesn't, they don't fall all over the place and the glasses themselves don't get kicky, goopy. You know what I mean. My God. Okay, you guys. I did it again. I, I shot taking this off and spoke about it and I just looked down and found that my camera was not on. Oya veya. So here's the deal. It, my skin feels dry. I took it off and with most masks, after you take them off, there's tons left that you work into the skin. But I believe because this is a mask itself, not the ingredients, but the mask itself forms an occlusive layer or film on your skin, it really does penetrate and the alcohol in it probably helps to penetrate as well. So even though we don't like alcohol that much in this instance, I think it works. A little bit about my skin. I am older, I'm 58. My skin is not dry, but it's not young anymore. So it's not producing ceramides, hyaluronic acid, oils, collagen, elastin, all the beautiful things that make skin look more youthful. I'm not producing as much anymore. So I kind of want to hang on as much as I can to, you know, okay looking skin. That's my goal. I find that this is cooling to the touch. So my face felt cool the entire time I had it on and I believe that that is what the firming is all about. I don't think there's anything in these ingredients that are necessarily firming, but there's something about the material that does that. And even now, my skin does not feel cool to the touch, like my fingers touching it, but it feels cool. And I think that helps with inflammation and puffiness in the morning time. I like to do a mask in the morning as much as I like to do one at night. And this particular mask doesn't fall. It doesn't slide. It doesn't annoy you. And it doesn't make me feel claustrophobic. Maybe because of that. I'm not sure why. Maybe because of that. So it is the kind of mask you could, if your mornings are really tight, wake up, wash your face, slap this on. You could make your coffee. You could make something to eat. You could sit down and read the news. You could pack lunches for your kids. You could move around while you're doing this. I personally <laughs> prefer to sit on my butt. And of course, you could use this at night as well. But this might be a good one to use in the morning. Now, when I took this off, when I thought the camera was rolling, I peeled from the bottom to halfway. And then I peeled off the front, the sides, like this. And then I folded it again and I put it back in here because I am going to use this again most definitely. And when I do use it again, I'll put something else in here, probably my Hadalabo Hyaluronic. Um, I wouldn't do an active, I've already mentioned that. But then I will probably put a generous amount of a couple of essences on just to make sure there's something else that I'm 
pushing into the skin. And if you use each one of these twice, it's as if you're getting eight masks. And one of them would be custom, which makes this price a little bit better. I'm not a genius at math, but I'm thinking we're looking at maybe $11.50 per mask. Not great, but, you know, better than 20 something, $22 a mask, right? Is it 22? I think. Math, not my thing. And that's what I'm going to do. I put it back in here. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and I will use it again soon, either tonight or tomorrow. I'm not going to let it hang out for a good while. And uh, that's pretty much it. I am now going to put on the rest of my skincare. <sighs> I really like the way it feels. I feel that the skin looks less puffy. And there's a slight, not quite radiance, because radiance people think of as shine, but the other kind of radiance that is like a radiance from within, if that makes sense. So it has um, a, a lightness about it. Almost the same thing that I get when I use the Dermalogica um, cleanser that has lactic acid in it, and I leave it on a little bit longer than you should for like two or three minutes. Same kind of thing. And I think that that's the rice bran that is exfoliating a little bit and brightening the skin a little bit. But yeah, I do like the way the skin feels, and I think it's not so bad if you use it twice. And that is it. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. I hope this was helpful to you. And I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart. And I'm wishing you good health.